Rail fanning on the way home is the subject of this exciting video from Pier Marquette 1223. In this video, follow us along as we rail fan many exciting locations across the great state of Illinois and Indiana. Please note that some clips have been edited for your viewing pleasure. In this first shot, we will watch a Union Pacific coal train hit the diamonds at Rochelle, led by a pair of Union Pacific GE AC4400 locomotives, with a pair of AC4400 locomotives bringing up the rear. From Rochelle, we move up to DeKalb, Illinois, as we watch a westbound Union Pacific Intermodal go underneath the Chicago and Northwestern Coaling Tower. Please note the pedestrian horns in the background, as DeKalb is now a no-horn quiet zone. From DeKalb, we return to a familiar spot in Geneva, Illinois as we watch a westbound metro fly through the crossing. However, this will not be the only train we caught in Geneva. As we move down to the metro station in downtown, we catch sight of yet another westbound Union Pacific intermodal, once again led by one of Union Pacific's many General Electric locomotives. Note the left hand running, still prominent on this former Chicago and Northwestern main line.
now move from Geneva to West Chicago as we are at the site of one of the few manned interlocking towers still left in the United States. This former Elgin Joliet and Eastern and Chicago Northwestern diamond is now controlled by Canadian National and Union Pacific, with Canadian National being the owner and operator of the tower. Here we see an eastbound metro slowly creep across the diamond as it heads into West Chicago towards the metro station. With word of an oncoming freight, our cameras stick around to catch a CN SD-75I leading a long freight across the diamonds at West Chicago. Crossing all three tracks proves to be a very noisy task, even despite the area of West Chicago now being a quiet zone and has been for some time. This next move came as quite a surprise to all of us as a former Missouri Pacific transfer caboose is leading the shove move of three loaded ballast cars in a UP GP15-1 of Missouri Pacific Heritage. Definitely something we were not expecting to see in West Chicago. Another long freight heads up past the tower on the EJ&E with yet another EMD leader. This time Solo SD70M-2 powers this Canadian National Freight up and over the UP Diamonds. It's our last train for the day in West Chicago.
jump all the way from West Chicago to East Chicago, Indiana as we catch a trio of BNSF GEs slowly backing out of the Indiana Harbor Belt's Gibson Yard. Later, we catch a pair of BNSF GEs again leading on the double track CSX mainline with another intermodal as they cross the Indiana Harbor Belt's Gibson Yard heading west. Last stop of the day is at Pine Junction in Gary, Indiana as we witness a monster Canadian National led freight on the former Elgin and Joliet Eastern. The main unit of interest in this huge seven unit consist is fourth out as a former Illinois Central SD70 still in its as delivered paint scheme slowly makes its way across the flooded bridge and down the former Elgin, Joliet, and Eastern. Our next two trains both come on CSX and are both NS led, as partially through the passing of the first westbound freight, an eastbound intermodal will meet the NS led CSX freight on the south side of Pine Junction.
caught between two trains is the scenario for this clip as on the Chicago line a Union Pacific SD70M leads a long intermodal train solo while a CSX GE will later come into the picture on the CSX main solo yet again leading another freight for CSX. An increasingly more common sight to see CSX engines leading solo as their latest president and CEO continues to thin out the roster of operating locomotives on this once mighty class one. Amtrak Capital Limited is coming in hot eastbound on the Chicago line with a P32-AWH third out. Dust from the Capital Limited is still settling when this power move on the Chicago line comes through, with over a half a dozen units being transferred from one point on the line to another.
intermodal picks up speed as it starts to head out east on the Chicago line through Pine Junction with a GE and Dash 9 wide cab in the lead. Freeze the frame. What's that on the EJ&E? Why a CN Jeep and a Bessemer and Lake Erie SD38-2 doing some switching. Another cool locomotive on the CN. This has been a Pure Marquette production. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't be afraid to subscribe for more great train videos and material. Thanks for watching.